that was on Thursday 4 to 5 got postponed to Friday 4 to 5 and then that got postponed to Monday 4 to 5 which is today so I had my meeting 4 to 5 and then as I was in the meeting because I mean it's I never like talk in that meeting because I have nothing to say so I'm literally just sitting there for like an hour straight just silent um yeah I was reading emails and stuff and then this there's this guy that keeps trying to get me and this other guy to go to the customer and like I don't want to go to the customer I don't know about this other guy but I don't want to go and then not last week but the week before that then um I was like about to leave and stuff and then this guy that will not say no to the customer and the guy that is supposed to go we were like talking and then I was I was leaving there like okay we're going on Tuesday and then I'm like I didn't agree to that so I think he is fine going, but I'm like, I don't want to go, but yeah. So in my four to five meeting today, that I was already not enjoying this guy, the one who can't say no to the customer, and is like a new PM because he used to be a planner, but then the person who was the PM got let go, so then he decided, oh, I'll be the PM now. Um, but yeah, so he, came into the meeting room and he's like, oh, sorry to interrupt. Did you see my email? Did you pick a time that you're available? Like, I'm already not having a good time in this meeting and you're just like adding on to it. And you literally interrupted the meeting to ask me my availability. 9, 11 a.m. And I'm walking to my car right now because I'm going to the customer's place again. I'm so tired of this, but now I have to go. Fun. And me, and the other guy are both driving, so yeah, separate cars, which is fine, but yeah. See you in 20 minutes or so when I get there. It's 9.35, I just got here, um, but the guy who I'm going with left after me, so, and I know what car he drives, so he's not here yet, so now I just wait for him to come. <laughs> and we're already five minutes late technically, but what can you do? Yeah. So now I just sit here and wait and watch for his car to be coming. <laughs> 9.37. He just pulled in, so he's parking right now. I'm gonna head over to him. And I will update you when I'm done. Yeah. Ow. My thing just got stuck on my earring oh my gosh this guy's emailing me now literally it's been seven minutes like what so dramatic okay it is 10.02 and i just got to my car so we were only there for 20 minutes and yeah and after we left um we were standing in the parking lot talking and we were like this guy literally could have just emailed us this stuff like it really didn't have to come, but yeah. But now we're just, I'm gonna go back to work and he's gonna go back to work and yeah. And drive slowly and carefully. I'm at Target right now. The Target app says they don't have it. But I came anyways just to see because sometimes they don't, sometimes they say they don't have things, but really they do. I think they were right. There's no regular Dr. Pepper minis. Tragic. Now do I go somewhere else? Or do I go back to work? I literally just drove into a dead end. What? <laughs> I'm so lost. It is beautiful weather outside. And I see a straight and I see a stray cat walking over there. In my morning meeting, since I knew I was gonna be going to the customer's place, I wanted to fill out the expense form, but I've never filled it out before and I don't know how to fill it out. So then I messaged um, my PM friend and she has like kids my age. So we're just like chilling. I'm like her daughter in a way. <laughs> and we have like the similar vibes of like, oh, I'm, I'm just like her daughters. But yeah, so then I chatted her and stuff in my meeting and then I went to the customer's place yeah and then while I was at the customer's place she chatted me back and she was like oh it's too early for this and then she was like where are you missy 
and I was like, hmm, like, what? And then I got back um, to work, and then on my desk, this was on my desk. <laughs> Basically, she was not here on Friday. Um, she was PTO because she was in Disneyland, and then she was also there, the LA area, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then she got back to work on Monday. Yeah, but she left this on my desk. <laughs> the little chocolate coins with the characters on it. It's I can't. I, I don't think you can see them all, but like, yeah, super cute. And they're let me milk chocolate coins. It's from Disneyland. Yeah, I saw this on my desk, and I was like, like what? What is that? And then I looked at this, and it said milk cho like chocolate coins, and I saw the characters on the coins, and I immediately knew it was her, and she's just so sweet <laughs> yeah and i love them <laughs> so cute <laughs> i just had a fun encounter with my co-worker um that i'm now closest with so basically he has this shelf that he needs to like organize and i'm super good at organizing and he knows that and so yesterday before my meeting i had at four um I asked him for like his zip ties, these little like placards, and I s stole his label, his label maker from his desk. And at the time, he only had like three or four of the little like 3D printed placards. So he was like, "You're gonna take all of them? Like that's all I have?" And I was like, "Yeah, I am. <laughs> Thanks." <laughs> and then I took them, and then I left. <laughs> and then I was organizing this thing for him. And yeah, and um, typing up on my computer and all that stuff, like logging it in my computer, and so it matches what was on the shelf. And yeah, um, and then I had to go to my meeting, so then I like returned them back, and I was like, oh, I didn't actually use them, but yeah, but you can put them up later. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, like, did you really think I was gonna like take them, take them? And then he was like, I had a feeling that you were doing that, and then. Yeah, because like in my head I was like, you're taking my last ones, but then I was thinking like, oh, uh, I think, um, yeah, he started to put the pieces together of what I was actually doing. But yeah, his like working area was like messy and stuff, and I was like, why don't you like put that stuff away, because like I numbered everything, so it literally like has a designated shelf where it goes, and then he was like, okay, like I'll do that, and then yeah, so he was like putting stuff away at the designated shelf that I had called out and stuff like that but he didn't know and then he was like putting up the little placards on the shelf also because I just like printed out all the labels and put them where they belong but I didn't like zip tie the shelves the placards to the shelf yeah and then he was done with that and then I'm like okay do you want to log them now and he was like can you log them because you know because I'm like a really fast typer compared to him but like he already knows that and I was like you can type them <laughs> see it's me playing in his mind like making him do this but in reality I actually did it already so then I'm like okay pull up the log and then he pulled up the log and then he um the number of shell the number of on the placards of the shelves that he had just like filled that I had already filled um, they already had stuff filled in in the lines on the log and he's like oh no it already has something there and then I'm like what does it say and then he read it out loud and then I'm like Can you, what does the thing on the shelf say and then he looked at the um, item on the shelf and then it matched and he's like oh my gosh like you already did it <laughs> and I was like yeah I did I tricked you there <laughs> because he always calls me a ninja because I'm like secretively doing things and people don't notice them until like, I don't know, like I'm secretly doing things behind people's backs and they don't even realize that it's actually happening until I hit you with it. Yeah, it's like hitting you like with thunder 